this is uh, pallavi and uh, i am an english teacher today uh, i am going to discuss uh, the first chapter uh, in class 10 uh, well in class 12 you all have got two books one is your flamingo and another one is vistas and uh, in this lecture uh, today i am going to discuss your first chapter in the main book that is the flamingo well you must have seen the first chapter's name is the last lesson which is written by a french writer alphonse dodel uh this chapter is a very easy very simple chapter uh, just uh, you go through the chapter and i am sure you will understand the chapter in one go but uh, in this video i will try to make it even more simpler so uh, this will be the part one i am dividing the chapter and dividing my lectures into three parts and this will be part 1 and in part 1 i will be discussing the uh, three first uh, two three paragraphs of the chapter and in my next second video you will be getting the part 2 and in my third video you will be getting the part 3 of the last lesson so students let's begin so you can see uh, the last lesson is written by alphonse dodel i were alphonse dodel Go to school. So 
finally he took the decision that uh, he will go to school. So he was getting ready and he was running towards school. Actually where the time when he started it was already late. Anyway, he was running towards the school. Now as he was going towards the school, he came across the town hall. A building, big building which is called as the town hall. And in front of the town hall there was a boat which in the story is called as a bulletin board. Actually bulletin board is like a notice board where all the important news and all is written. And uh, this boy when he was uh, running, he saw that there was a huge crowd in front of the town hall. A lot of people have gathered and uh, they especially they were gathering in front of the bulletin board. And all of them they were looking at the board and they were reading something. And this boy thought what could be the matter? Why these people have gathered? But he don't have time. Anyway he was late for school so he don't have time to ask the people what's going on. Now, 
In my next lecture, I will tell you why the classroom is full, actually what happened. Alright, so in order to continue this chapter, keep watching my videos.